Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing you how I created this flyer in Corel Draw. Yes, with Corel Draw. Of course, I'll be guiding you through a few steps which will be easy for you to understand. Without having to waste time, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go over to file and um, create a new um, document like this. Give it a name just like this you're free to give it the name of your choice and size stays at 5x5 five five, then click OK just use my settings double click on the rectangle to create a replica rectangle like we've done in previous videos and I'll just go straight to business I'm going to use my text tool to type summer like this and uh, I'm going to change the font that I used here. With my shape tool, I'm just going to drag this to close the space in between the text, just like I have done like this. And uh, I'm going to turn it up like this. Do that again. Good. And I'm going to make this bigger, um, a little bit bigger. Good. So I'm going to make several copies of this. Control C and uh, Control V. Right. So with this last one, I'm going to do click on this and click on this. Right. Good. So when I'm done, I'm selecting everything and I'm just going to try to go to objects, convert to curves and I'm going to weld all of them like this. Right? Great. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to give it an outline and um, I'm going to change the outline stroke. And uh, I'm going to convert this to bitmap. Everything stays the same. Right? So I'm going over to where I have my resource file. And in case you don't know, the resource file is attached to the um, description of this video. So do well to download that. So I'm just going to start with this. Uh, this is what I will use for my color. So with my eyedropper tool. I'm going to select this color and um, eyedropper, select the color and apply it to the text first. Very important. So, with the background, I'm just going to give it black. Uh, put this aside for a while. Shift this aside. So, I'm going to bring in. Um, my first element I'm going to use, which is this swirly, wavy, abstract black background. Click on transparency tool and uh, uniform transparency. And I'm just going to change this to screen. Right? You can see how nice looking this effect is. Drag it aside. We're going to place it inside here. So right click and click on power clip then click on the rectangle itself yeah great double click and um, you can move this in place transparency i'm going to bring this up when i'm done i'm going to click finish okay now that we've done that, let's work on this. So double click on this rectangle to create a replica rectangle. Go to my selection to drag this out. Right. So I'm going to make this big and expand height in width and height I meant. Right. So with this one selected, move this aside. So with this one selected, um, click on power clip and place inside of this rectangle. 
now when you do that you can double click on it to adjust it position it well i need to be in the middle click finish we need to get rid of this so outline so go over to this part and just right click on that part here right when you're done just press p on the keyboard and it takes it directly to the page like this but then we have a problem it's covering the summer we have there all of that so before then um i'm gonna apply shadow to this right just follow my settings and um, when you apply the shadow go to object and break shadow apart right you can click out and ensure that the shadow and the image are now apart they are divorced click on finish when you're done right so this summer Ctrl X and um, V to paste it and click on P to center it to the page. You can see how it is aligned with that one in the background. Good, so I'm going to reduce the transparency a bit. And when I'm done, I'm going to click finish just like this. Okay. So as it stands, um, this summer seemed to be a little bit small. So let's make it bigger. Click on this press P. Let's take it to the page like this. Okay, I think I am okay to, with this to some extent. So let's move on. So drag this next element, drag and drop. So for this, I'm working on this. This nice paper effect. Make it bigger. Go over to transparency and um, click on uniform transparency and change the blend mode to let's see mm, overlay is not working. Multiply, perfect. So this is what I want. All right. So change the blend mode to multiply. So you can flip it like this and. Uh, make it smaller like this yeah make it smaller like this ctrl x and ctrl v to paste it inside of the power clipped content we have already i'm gonna bring in this nice image of um a sunset on a beach somewhere I don't know exactly so make this bigger and um, to some extent not too much go over to your transparency tool and um, select fountain transparency select elliptical fountain transparency yeah so when you do that change the blend mode to overlay and voila there you go nice looking effect so I'm just going to click on the image and uh, make it a little bit bigger and move it upward like this. This is where I want it to be. Again, Ctrl X and um, Ctrl V. X for X-Men. Right? Great. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the image of the model itself. Herself right and i'm just going to reduce the size like this reduce the size like this again reduce the size like this again and um please always make sure you zoom in and zoom out to i can have space to work in right so with my shape tool selected, I'm going to highlight these two points 
and I'm going to drag it all the way up because I do not want or plan to intend to make use of that portion of the image I just need only this more like a portrait right great so my transparency tool I'm just gonna click and drag um, so I conceal the sharp edges so I took my time to type out the whole details so we won't waste a whole lot of time on this video so I'm just going to um, put it here just like this I feel I might have to make uh, a little bit of adjustment this but then it's fine so um, you can feel free to arrange all these things and type by yourself just make sure you're practicing it in the right way right and don't forget that practice also makes perfect so I'm going to reduce the size of this summer right good and P to put this one back great next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some additional details like I said I took my time to type all these things out so we won't spend time on typing when we have um, a composition to create all right okay so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is with my text tool selected I'm going to type summer not summit summer and I'm going to change the font the font that I used so for this, I use this font, this font, yeah, this one. So I'm going to make it bigger, just like this. Let me move the image downwards a bit. Clicking on the summer, I'm going to convert the color to white, like this, so it stands out well on um, both colors, that's the yellowish orange and the black. So with this selected, I'm going to make um, a duplicate copy of this, you can see made a copy of it I'm going to change the color to yellow like this go over to effect I'm going to click on blow I'm selecting this right good so go to effects blow and um, caution blow so just use my settings for this this time make sure preview is turned on this is my settings click ok so with this one selected, I'm going to take it behind that white. So control page down. You can see it's seated nice behind. So with this one, I'm going to duplicate the, um, the yellow one I did now. And I'm just going to increase the radius for this blur in particular. I'm going to click OK. Again, I'm going to send this one behind the whites. So I have two summers behind this white to create this nice looking light effect. Right? Alright, so there we go. So this is how I created this flyer in Coral Pro. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to do that. Simply hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. To my subscribers, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video.